Biden. Um, he is the treasurer and the public relations director for the Cape Breton Drag Racing Association. And Gerard, uh, this is my first time here at this facility where these guys are uh, drag racing at. I'm just amazed. So uh, let's start off. How did the Cape Breton Drag Racing Association start and when? Well, I'm going to take you back quite a ways now. We're going back to the 80s. Uh, early in the 80s, a group of us got together. We were getting tired of street racing and we were driving you know, six hours to get to a racetrack. So we started uh, lobbying to see if we could find a place to race right here on Cape Breton Island. We put this together, I guess this is probably our 15th year or, or so at this facility. And uh, as you can see, it's a temporary facility. So all of our staff is volunteer and they all get together. We build this racetrack on Thursday afternoon. And by seven o'clock tonight, it's gonna to be pretty much out of here. And this will be a live runway tomorrow morning. Tell me about the classes. You have cars and you have motorcycles. Yeah, so yeah we do. We have a good mixture of everything, actually. There's five regular classes of racing here at the dragway. Um, we have our super pro cars, which are 11 seconds and quicker. And we have our pro class division, which runs from 1349 up to 11 seconds. And uh, then we have our street class of cars, which would be anything slower than 1349. And then we also have a motorcycle division, which is, you know, comprises motorcycles and snowmobiles. We also have uh, a junior dragster division, which is a, a scale replica of the full-size dragsters. Uh, kids from 8 years old up to 17 years old will drive these junior dragsters, one-cylinder car, running an eighth mile. Now, it's non-profit, right? This is That's correct. It's just a bunch of volunteers. The prize money, all the payouts comes from the number of racers that come into the event. So their entrance fees go towards the payouts. And you also have like emergency crews like first yeah, aid we have, and all that? Yeah, we have first responders here on site. There will not be a car to go down the track unless the first responders are sitting right here. So they dictate what goes on safety wise. It's all in their hands. What has been the response from the general public so far? Like, Well, the people that come here can't, are just like yourself. They can't believe what they're seeing, right? So that usually inspires them to come back again for a second and third visit. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, as far as racers, we've got racers from four maritime provinces here today. Wow. Right, so that's pretty common for us. Yeah. Uh, this event, this quick aid event, tends to attract a few from Newfoundland because they've, they've got some pretty heavy hitting cars. So. And, and it's a quarter mile? Uh, yeah, the, the drag strip, strip right? is 1,320 feet. Uh, the track record, I think, is posted right up here on the wall. It's eight or no, 6.874 seconds to cover that quarter mile at uh, about 192 miles an hour. Wow. Well, hey, I just want to say thank you very much for uh, taking the time to speak with us today, and uh, we're going to look forward to uh, getting back out here for your next event in August. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, our August race is probably equal in size to this one. It's a, you know, a very well set after event. It's the, uh, we're going to run Cape Breton points chase points at that race and it'll also be an Atlantic Drag Racing Association points race so there'll be a similar group to what you're seeing today and uh, again we will run five classes at that event and, and the Cape Breton Challenge also runs that weekend as well that'll be run on a Thursday night and I don't have the dates right in front of me but great yep okay thanks a million thanks Wade okay buddy